we're just down here at the southern end of Bungower this morning. Um, got a bit of burly going, just got some crab shells and some old chopped up pillies and stuff in there. I'm just fishing about, I don't know, we're probably only 10 metres off the bank. The tide's nearly at the bottom. And Hale's just getting a bite. We're just floating some pillies out in the, just with a little sinker out in the burly trail. We've got a couple of nice grassies already. Well, not big ones, but nice ones for here. It's not raining, no. It's bloody beautiful. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> we'll see how we go though. I think we're going to get wet, aren't we? Brassy. Is it? Carry on a bit, don't they? Yeah. Probably knows what's going to happen. <sighs> you got to carry on when you're so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just filming me barely. <laughs> This one's a bit littler. <laughs> Another grassy though. He'll be just under, I reckon, that guy, but we'll measure him. Oh, yours has. Oh. Is that guy? I'll let him go. Finally, she's on. <laughs> Is he all right, Hales? Yeah. It just looks like you're winching him in, you go. Well, <laughs> better than no fish. True, true. What is he, little squire? Yay, my first fish. You're on the board? <laughs> He's got to go back. I know. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're going to need to go to dentist. Oh, dear.
I think it's a broom. <laughs> it is coming in rather easy, isn't it? Yeah. I reckon it's the same. Little grassy. Uh -huh. You'll go close. <laughs> yeah, that's where I've that brim before, outside in. <laughs> yeah, give him a measure. G'day guys, we're back again. Um, we were going to head back down to Ungao this morning, but we woke up and it was um, pissing down rain. And, yeah, so we're keen, but not that keen. So we're going to put these couple of grasses up for lunch. So I'm just going to knock all the scales and guts out of them. I'm going to do them whole um, on the barbie. So yeah, I'll get this cracking. Oh, might go and get a better knife, I think. Okay, so that's all the scales and that out, so now I'm just going to score them up either side. Just going to do these real simple, just plenty of salt and pepper, a bit of oil, just over the charcoal. Plenty of flavour, just in that alone. And then we'll just have a nice salad or something, I think. I think Hale said just going to knock up a salad, so pretty easy for me. i just get the muck around out here and a couple of beers. Always a couple of beers. So there's those guys ready to go. I'll just get a bit of, they can go in the fridge for a bit while I get the barbie going. All right, so I got the barbie going. Um, I'm gonna make a bit of a lemon butter sauce to go with the, um, to go with the two grassies. So, yeah, I'll tell you what, if you're in the market for a new Barbie, these Kamado Joes are bloody brilliant, hey? Like, you're able to, um, you can grill a steak on there or you can use it as a smoker, do you like your briskets and stuff like that. It's changed the way we eat this thing, to be honest. Like, it, yeah, it's amazing. If you're into playing with fire and, yeah, food, you can't go wrong. We actually went in to buy a, just like a, $300 bloody Weber kettle and yeah walked out with this thing it was a bit of an impulse buy but yeah bloody glad we did all right so while the barbie's heating up I'll get the sauce started um, so a bit of white wine it's a bit of houses don't tell us you'll have a shit start there a um, little bit of white sugar just a little bit good squeeze of lemon juice And just a couple of lemon myrtle leaves out the garden. So we'll bring that to the boil, let it reduce down by about two thirds. And then we'll add a little bit of cream and then whisk the butter in. All 
Alright, so that's about ready. So we'll add a little bit of cream just to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, And then we'll just flip that, probably reduce by about half. Okay, so that's about ready. You can tell it just starts to get a bit of, goes a bit yellow. We'll leave the leaves in for a minute and then just whisk your, whoop, turn him off, sorry. Turn the heat off and then just whisk the butter in a few knobs at a time. Very important that the butter's straight out the fridge, you don't want. Butter to be like room temperature, you want it nice and cold so it thickens the sauce and otherwise it'll split too. So just as that melts, just add a bit more. Just till you get a nice sort of sauce consistency. And then this sauce too, it's just like a single use thing, you can't put it in the fridge and use it another day, so. You want to just keep it a little bit warm, not too hot, otherwise the butter will separate. So. Alright, a bit more. So you're basically just using the heat from your pan and the stove top just to make the butter. You don't want the heat on, otherwise it will boil too quick and it will separate. And will be bloody ugly. Just a little salt and pepper. Normally we wouldn't use cracked black pepper in there. Maybe use a little bit of white or not even any pepper at all, just a bit of salt, but just put it in there. don't mind a few black bits. Got my fish. Um, I'll just put a little bit of olive oil either side. Got some sea salt and cracked black pepper and a little bit of lemon pepper. Plenty of that, don't be scared with that shit. Get it on. And then other side too. rubbing in all those little even a bit in the gut cavity in there use it all up all right so the barbie's up to 250 I'm um, just going to give it a bit of a spray with a bit of canola spray just be a bit careful because bit of open flame more just because I cleaned the barbies today and I'm just a bit worried about the fish sticking so alright so we get that guy on not too bothered about the fins and that they should just burn off alright so I'll give it about I reckon four or five minutes either side I'll give it about five minutes four minutes have a look so shut the lid okay so that's four minutes moment of truth oh looking good looking good this is the part I'm a bit worried about, it's just flipping over. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at that. Okey dokey. Shut the lid, I reckon. Give him another five, I reckon. Beautiful. Okay, so that's five minutes that side too, so I'm guessing, I reckon they should be done. Have a look at them. Alright, so I'll just get in there in that thickest bit with the tongs and just pull that apart, see if it... Yeah, still a little bit... 
Yeah, it needs a touch longer, so I'll give him another, I'll give him about another minute. All right, so I just went and got another beer. So they should be done, I reckon. So this is gonna be the scary part though. I think lifting them off. So I use the tongs as well. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. What about you? Be nice. Oh, it's bloody hot. Oh, whoop. sorry dogs. Not bad, eh? I'll just put a little bit of this sauce on. Just a bit. Oh, look at that. I'll save some for the other side, obviously. So, a bit of sauce. All right, and we'll take that in. We've got a bit of a tough crowd in there today. The kids are a bit down and out about not getting to go fishing today, so we'll see what they reckon. What do you reckon, Evie? What do you reckon, Ellie? Look good? Okay, let's, let's try a little bit, Evie. Are you ready? We'll do the plane. We'll do the plane. Ready? Yeah. Oh, really hot. Really hot? Any good? Mm -hmm. Salty. Mmm, love salty. Okay, Ellie. Yeah. I'll use your fork because you don't want to put your mouth where Evie's been. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, do you want to try a little bit of the little one because you're family baby? Whoop. Ready? Yeah, we'll get that skin off. You don't like skin, do you? Have a little bit of skin. That's where all the flavour is. Any good? Okay, so this is the test to see if it's cooked right. The backbone should come out nice. Look at that. Okay. We'll just snap him over there. I don't think it could have come out much better, to be honest. Look at that. There we go. Easy access to that other side. 